In this Tortuga Travel Sling Review, I'm gonna show you everything that you need to know, pros, cons, to decide if this is a sling for you. But don't worry, if it's not, you're gonna to wanna to stick around to the end where I'll make some alternative recommendations for slings that might better suit your needs. Let's kick it off by talking about the gist of the Tortuga Travel Sling. Tortuga is a brand that, in my opinion, are known for two things, durability and comfort. And that brand identity is pretty freaking consistent when it comes to this sling. On the durability side, we've got insane exterior materials, this Shell 200 I'm in love with, and just as durable materials on the interior. But then on that comfort side, we've got a sling setup and strap setup that perfectly fits the human torso. And again, I'll break this down in more detail a bit later in the review. Aside from that, we have some thoughtful interior organization, two compartments, a key ring holder, and some pretty impressive hardware from Woojin and YKK zippers. The size is 2.5 liters, which for me is like perfect territory for being a pocket reliever sling. It's not gonna hold all your gear. You ain't gonna fit a laptop and your iPad and your big bulky headphones in here. But the stuff you normally carry in your pockets, pop it in here while you're traveling or just when you're, you know, spritzing around the city and you're good to go. It currently comes in one color option, black. It weighs 0.5 pounds. This is the sling when it's empty. And this is the sling when it's fully packed out and worn on me. For reference, I'm five foot eight. And I'm gonna pack this sling out throughout the entire review so you can see exactly what it fits. All Tortuga products come with a lifetime warranty covering manufacturing and craftsmanship defects. And for all that, this Tortuga Travel Sling runs around 95 USD, which I think is actually a pretty good price, all things considered. And if at any point in this review, you agree with me, you're like, Aaron, I agree. I think that's a good price, all things considered. And you're gonna make a purchase or you just wanna find out more information, we do recommend that you do so using the first link in the description. Reason being, that link sometimes has discount codes, but always makes sure that you have the best price. And it helps to support the Nomads Nation YouTube channel, which we greatly appreciate. Thank you. Okay, let's talk about the outside of the Tortuga Travel Sling. First up, branding. If you are a fan of super subtle and anonymous branding, you're gonna love Tortuga. Cause you'll notice nowhere on the sling is the word Tortuga even to be found. You just got their adorable little turtle shell imprint on the front and on the zipper poles. Next up, let's talk about the external material. Real quick, this material is Shell 200, and it's an X-Pack material, which means this material comes from the sailcloth on sailboats. And as you can probably imagine, sailcloth on sailboats needs to be really durable and really weather resistant. And also the material gives it a very nice shine, premium look, but I cannot emphasize the weather resistance enough. It's probably one of the most weather resistant slings I've ever reviewed. That's also because of the PU coated zippers, but I'll talk about those in a minute. Moving along to the back, we have a pretty basic pack panel. To be honest, like you don't need a whole bunch of like ventilation with a sling. These things are small. They don't take up a lot of like torso real estate, but these little dots here do just kind of help maybe encourage a bit of airflow. It is a harder back panel, which is nice because it does offer a little extra padding on both your body. And if you're storing like electronics in this back compartment, like a Kindle or a small tablet, it'll help protect it. But let's talk about one of my favorite parts about the sling, which is the strap design and the comfort that it brings your body. Because as you can see, both of these straps sort of come at like an upward angle. And what that means is when you're wearing the sling, it really fits around the torso and the way that sort of hugs you and gives the sling a very flush positioning against your body. Now compare that to like Nomadic. Sorry to pick on you, Nomadic. We love you. But they use a strap management system where these things are just kind of shooting out of both sides, right? In like the middle. And that's great for a fanny. Perfect, ideal. Chef's kiss for the fanny. But when you're wearing it in sling mode, it doesn't give you that flushness. You see that gap? You see what's going on there? And the reason they do this is because they want to be like, but I want it to double as a fanny. But the thing is that with any product that tries to do two things really well, it can never do it as well as the product that tries to do one thing with excellence. And in my opinion, that's what Tortuga's bringing to the game here. Excellence with the comfort and just the way that this sits against your body. I love it. And that comfort is extended to both the front and the back. But I wanna know, like, what do you think? Do you think this sling strap setup is superior? Or would you prefer what Nomadic did so it can like double as a fanny a bit better? Let me know in the comments below. Quickly on the strap itself, basic webbing, nothing to write home about. It is a little bit thicker, so if you're carrying more gear and it's a bit heavier, this will help like sort of bear the brunt of that weight. And finally, to kind of tie it all together, sling the strap, we have this Woojin Magnetic Solution, right? Woojin makes some of the best hardware in the game. Super satisfying to use, 
easy to clip on, very, very tight and secure. I will say though, some people don't like these solutions because they think it's easier for thieves just to kind of do one of those, right? I am not of that opinion. I think if a thief is that committed to stealing your sling, it doesn't matter if it's a magnet or not, they're gonna get it. But it is something to be aware of. Okay, let's talk about the inside of the Tortuga Travel Sling. On the inside, we have two compartments. The first compartment, we'll call the front compartment, is accessible with two YKK PU coated zippers. YKK makes the best zippers in the game. I like these zippers because they have a little plastic cuts right here, which just helps to give you a little extra grip when you're opening the sling. But I don't like these zippers because they're plastic and when they, they're loud, when they like hit against each other. It's a jingly experience and it's not my favorite. But they are PU coated, that's this lining right here, just to help give the sling extra weather resistance. And when you open up, you can see, we're in. One thing that I love that Tortuga does is they use these like really creamy, rich interior colors. And this material here is actually ripstop nylon, which gives it extra durability. You see durability like a recurring theme here. And it's ripstop because those squares actually means like the extra reinforcement, it stops the rip, hence ripstop. You get it. On one side, we have zippered pocket right there. Super basic, no additional internal organization. All right, let's pack it out. First up, we have this zipper pocket right here. For me, I like to put like wires in pockets like this because they're sort of out of sight, out of mind. Wires are just kind of gross, you know, and I just don't want to look at them, but they are organized in there whenever I need them. Flip it over to the other side, we have the one, two mesh pockets. It's not my favorite mesh, a little coarse to the touch, and it's not, it doesn't have any elasticity to it. Yeah, truth be told, I'm just not crazy about this mesh. And if you're thinking to yourself, wow, this Aaron guy, he is a nerd when it comes to mesh. Uh, truth be told, I am. And not just mesh, like all backpack materials. And in fact, I don't know if you know this, but I'm such a nerd when it comes to backpacks that I'm actually building my own here on the Nomads Nation YouTube channel. That's right, in public. So if you want to see a behind the scenes look at what it takes to build a backpack from the ground up, and help vote on some of the key features, you're gonna to wanna to check out the second link in the description. That'll show you where we're at in the building a backpack project and how you can get involved. And we're probably gonna build a sling next, so I definitely recommend checking it out. Back to this guy. I'm gonna throw a backup battery on one side, some tissues on the other side. Key ring solution, pretty basic, nothing to write home about, but go ahead and pop the keys in there. And then notice, you know, this thing's 2.5 liters, so we got, you know, we got some space in there. So if you really wanna bulk it out, let's see if we can fit my Sony headphones in there. I don't think this is gonna work. Actually, what do you know? The Sony XMH5 whatevers, um, they, they can be squeezed in. So this is just sort of to show like, yeah, it's a small little sling, but if you wanna throw some bulkier bits of gear in there, it can accommodate to a certain point. And a more universal measurement, let's throw a notebook in there. Oh yeah, so I got my moleskin, and it is a tight squeeze but I think we're gonna make it happen. Awesome, that's br freaking brilliant. All right, second compartment we'll call the back compartment, which like I said, has no additional organization, just kind of like a sleeve. And like I said, with the padding on the back and just the sleeve-like structure, it's a great spot for electronics. It's a good spot for my Kindle. You can see slides right in. The YKK PU coated zipper helps keep that compartment extra protected. But as you can see, it's also limited, like it's not gonna fit an iPad Air. For me, I'll probably take my phone out of my pocket sometimes, pop it in there, keep it safe, good to go. And you can see now we're fully packed out. It's a very comfy wear, it's a small sling, and it should be noted like, they call it the Tortuga Travel Sling, but it, there's no real difference between a travel sling and an everyday carry sling for me. Actually, I would say that a good travel sling is more like the Air Go Sling too. So you can just sort of, you know, compress it, roll it up, throw it into your bag, and when you get to your destination, et voila, you got your sling, right? This will not compress in the same way. So I guess it just depends on what you're looking for in your travel sling. If you're looking for an ultimate lightweightness and compressibility, that's not what this is bringing to the table. But if you want a travel sling that you can carry around when you're at your destination, whether you get caught in a rainstorm in Asia or a snowstorm in Europe, it's gonna handle very well against those elements. But also like if you're just looking for an everyday carry sling, don't be turned off by this being called a travel sling. It's just a great freaking sling all around. Speaking of which, let's talk about the pros and the cons of the Tortuga Travel Sling. Pro number one, obvious, insane durability. Specifically, this Shell 200 material, it's just, it's awesome. Pro number two, also obvious, I love the comfort and the fit of this strap design. And pro number three for me is these interior materials just freaking rock. But not every product is perfect. I'm gonna tell you what I don't like about this sling. Con number one is for a travel sling, it is a little stiff and maybe bulky, as opposed to like other travel slings, which can be compressible. Con number two, ah, just wish this mesh had a bit of elasticity. I, I, I don't like the mesh. I don't like it. And con number three, I don't think Tortuga ever makes the most stylish products. Compare this to like the Alpaca Ghost Sling Mini. It's just got a bit more chicness to it. But if you're thinking to yourself, Aaron, I've evaluated the pros and the cons. And I'm getting that fing sling and you're gonna make a purchase, just remember that we do ask that you do so using the first link in the description. 
That link will make sure you get the best price and it'll also help to support the Nomads Nation YouTube channel, which we greatly appreciate. Thank you. But perhaps you stuck around because you want to know what are Aaron's alternative recommendations? I got a few for you. You might be expecting this one. Alternative recommendation number one is going to be the Air Go Sling 2. This will be for you if you're like, Aaron, I was looking for a travel sling and it said travel sling, but then you show me that whole compressible thing and I'm like, oh, that's the kind of travel sling that I actually want. And if that's the case, the Air Go Sling 2 is one of my faves. Highly compressible, super lightweight, great for travel. And to learn more about it, check out the description below and you'll find a link to our full review. Alternative sling number two is going to be the Alpaca Go Sling Mini or the Alpaca Go Sling or the Alpaca Go Sling Nano. They have this thing in a whole bunch of sizes, but it just looks really sleek. And Alpaca just makes great gear in general. And to learn more about the Alpaca Go Sling, take a look at the description below and you'll find a link to our full review. And if you're still undecided, my third alternative recommendation is to watch this video right here of our favorite slings of all time. That'll give you a better idea of what's on the market. If you have any questions, please let me know in the comments below. I personally respond to every single one myself. My name is Aaron, this is Nomads Nation, and we'll catch you next time.